We are back with the coffee break. It's Claire and that's Marissa. Yep. I'm like pointing at you because they can <laughs> go over there. See Marissa. It's me. And uh, we're here to talk a little bit about summer. Yeah, there's a lot of good that comes with summer. We look forward to yes. it. There's also a lot of stuff that mm-hmm. you're like, man, if this could just not exist. We'd all be good. Yeah, and things like bugs, they're always coming out in the summer. Yeah. But you can't always just afford to buy the spray or the citronella candles or the official chemical stuff yep. to get and rid of it. Some of it doesn't work. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the home remedies, they work better. Mm-hmm. So we're going to tell you a little bit about how we've come up with ways, <laughs> whether or not these work. There's a little asterisk here <laughs> to keep bugs away. Claire's got one for spiders. I do, yeah. We've got some ants, yep. spiders, aphids. There's a few things Fruit we got on flies, the flies, all those things where it's like if these could not come with summer, that'd be great. And then we'll focus on a couple other hacks yep. to go with summer. Yep. So let's start this with, uh, let's talk about burns. Yes. I want to talk about burns, like really bad. Because she burnt her head. <laughs> Uh, before summer began in spring, I was out at one of our events, the Children's Fest, and I got a burn like whoosh, right across my head. And I, that had never happened to me before. I didn't even think about wearing a hat because I've literally never burnt my head before. Okay. Yeah. So I burn my head and there's one thing I've always used for burns to make it feel better. And it's almost like instant. It might sting a little bit, but it's like the cooling sensation and the thickness. It stays on. And I find if I put it on literally next day, brown, feeling better. So I was like, okay, well, I got to do this to my head. <laughs> I've put it in a lot of places, but the top of my head is not one of them. (laughs) So I took it and I put it all over my scalp and my hair. And then I put like a kerchief on. Yeah. And I held it there and I would like keep the heat in to keep it moist. And I'd squish it down a few times. Literally next day, all better. As you can see, I'm white. But it wasn't something normally. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people use like aloe and stuff and I hear it works. It's never really worked for me. But this has like eucalyptus and I think aloe in it. It's a cold cream. That our parents used back in the day for like face wash and cold cream. Yep. Noxzema. This stuff, growing up, I had no idea it was a face wash or cold cream. We used it on cuts and rashes and that kind of thing and would heal it like in a day. And so I've always used it on my burns. I am telling you from personal experience, this stuff works. I literally don't go anywhere without a jar of it. Like if I'm going camping or if I'm going away, if I don't have a jar, I know I'm going to regret it. Because you usually do more walking or something and end up with a sore. This stuff is genius. My family uses it. I've pushed it on to my daughter now. She uses it. She comes to me, Mom, where's the Noxzema? It works. (laughs) Use it. Noxzema is just a name in your family now. Oh, yeah. It's totally the the cure-all. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's a summer hack that you have had to use. I've never had to use this one, but I know that it works because I see it at restaurants. Yeah. You know when you're on the patio and you have food on your plate and there's flies They're all around your food. They will not leave you alone. If you want to keep them away, you fill like a Ziploc bag with just water. But you put dimes and nickels and quarters in there. And you hang those bags kind of around. And because a bug's eyes are made up of a bunch of tiny little eyes, they see the reflection of the sun off the water, off the coins. And it's it's almost like a disco ball to them. And they stay away. They don't like even looking at it or being near it. So you just hang a little Ziploc bag of coins around your food. And the flies won't come by. I love this because I love to eat outside, especially like on the patio and stuff when it's summer and you're barbecuing. But then it's like you have to deal with all the bugs all the time. Speaking of bugs that you don't want, you have one for spiders. I do. A lot of people don't like spiders in their homes. Yeah. And from what I hear, peppermint. Like if you have like an essential oil or something that's like peppermint or spearmint flavored, if you put that along like your windows and your door cracks and stuff like that, they won't come in. Interesting. They don't I wonder like what it. it is about peppermint that I they don't, don't like. I don't know. Kind of like slugs with salt. Oh, yeah. They don't like I that. forgot about that one. What about ants, though? Ants? This is genius. I've tried this hack. <laughs> so we had an ant hill at one of my old house in the front yard, and they would come up the stairs, like from the front yard up the patio stairs, and there was like a little bit of a tear in the weathering, the yep. strip of weathering on my door, yep. and they'd come in, and one day... I saw all these little ants all along one of my banisters, like going all the way from the front door, Marching. down the hall, <laughs> down this other hall and into where my like my room was. And I was yeah. like, what? Where are you going? And how did you get in? I figured out where they were coming from. And so I started doing some research. Yeah. And if you take powdered cloves and cinnamon. Powdered cloves and cinnamon. And they don't like it. They don't like it. So I would put every summer until we could get the weather stripping fixed. Yeah. I would put a little bit at the holes. There was two doors and the holes of those doors and we would never get them anymore. Okay. They don't like it. And these are things that you can just buy like 
homemade. You might even have cloves, cloves, not cloves, <laughs> and cinnamon chilling in your pantry. Well, yeah, if you have them in like sticks, you can grind them up or you can just yeah. buy the powders. Yeah. But it's because they rely on scent to follow each other. And this completely disrupts Messes that scent. Up. Yeah. Oh, okay. It works. I think like bugs, they're always around. But the one that we hate the most would be mosquitoes. Oh, yes. And we have kind of Googled different ways to, one, keep mosquitoes away and to stop a bite from itching. Well, the thing is, is I get the citronella candles and stuff. Yeah. It doesn't work. I find they don't work either. Like, no. you can even have the ones that clip onto your belt loop. No. Nope. And, they, and those stickers it. for the kit, they don't. <laughs> they don't work. I have spent way too much money on this stuff. It does not work. But we have found a different way. Yes. To keep them away. So basically what you apparently need to do is you need to put together water, rubbing alcohol, vinegar, and then up to 30, 40 drops of essential oils. And which you mix... I hear mosquitoes, they don't like citrus, which is where the citra and citronella yep. comes from. So, that'd be so a good maybe choice. like a tangerine or even orange. like lemongrass. Yeah. It's very citrusy. And citronella doesn't smell good to begin with. No. So, so find one you find, like. <laughs> yeah. Find yeah. one that smells It might get a little expensive better. though. 30 to 40 drops of an essential oil is not the cheapest yeah, thing. Yeah. That might be the whole thing. But if it keeps like, them away, I'm spending them. Yeah. Cash. Exactly. And if you do get a bite and you find that it's itchy, I have a list here of strange ways that people swear by. To, to make a mosquito bite stop itching. Number one was oatmeal. So you make a paste and then you put oatmeal in a bowl of water and you kind of stir it until it becomes like spackle-ish, yep. like really thick. And then you rub it on your bite and then you just kind of leave it there for a little bit. And then after a couple of minutes, take it off and it won't itch anymore. And it'll hmm. actually bring it down like... My mosquito bites, they grow. They it's get better huge. than my, like, nail X mark. It yeah. doesn't work. For me, one that I find works, and it's not on this list, is just water. You put some water on your finger, rub it on the bite, and it kind of stops itching. I guess whatever they distribute in us. I mean, <laughs> it might just water it down so it doesn't yeah, feel maybe. as bad. Yeah. yeah, That's a good one. I like that one. And finally, aphids. If you've just done, like, spent all this money, because it's not cheap to buy flowers yep. and planted them, yep. and then the aphids are in there destroying them. Uh, apparently, if you do, like, a mixture of vinegar and dish don, uh, like, the dish soap, soap. Yeah. that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> I need more coffee. That's why this is the coffee break. Um, but if you put that together and you spray it on your plants, apparently that keeps them away. I know Anna was going to try it. We'll have to ask okay. her if it worked. It's weird that they love flowers, but they don't like the smell of the soap, which usually is kind of like a floral. The Dawn dish soap is pretty strong scented and it's yeah, not floral. Maybe? So that might be why it's specifically the blue Dawn. What we've learned today is bugs are big babies. They are big babies. If you bring one thing they don't like, they're gone. <laughs> So we've yeah. talked. That's true. Uh, they're big babies. They don't like smells. So maybe we yeah. all just need to stink a little more. I maybe, don't know. No, mosquitoes actually go for people with like who sweat more. No wonder I get eaten alive. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good to know. Stop sweating, Claire. All right. So we've got bugs. We've got sunburns. What else you got? Other hacks? Well, we have camping hacks because that's one of the biggest things in the summer. And if you forget something while camping, you're hooped. Oh, yeah. Like, you can't, most of the time, just go and buy one. I forgot the trailer keys, so we're yeah. sleeping on the floor. Yeah, maybe yep. you're in the middle of nowhere, right? So you're supposed to bring a an empty four-liter jug of milk with you all the time and a little headlamp. You're supposed to bring the headlamp anyways for yeah. safety. But if you strap the headlamp and point it into the four-liter milk, the light kind of bursts and it creates a lantern. Like, it'll light up your whole tent. Oh! And it's you're probably going to buy milk anyway. So just rinse out your four liter and keep it in your little bin of camping stuff that you probably have anyway. So you can always have a big light. Yeah, you it. always have the lantern. And then this other one here, if you need to bring... Just don't forget the batteries for the headlamp. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. If you need to bring bagels, camping. Well, a bagel's essential. Yep. What? If you don't have a like a proper place, if they're not going to fit in your plastic bag or you don't know where to store them, you use an old CD case <gasps> there's a because use for those fits, again <laughs> fits perfectly the the bagel in the cd are the same shape and it's got that thing that kind of points up it holds your bagel so for those of you who don't know <laughs> back in my day we used to have to like burn cds and they had these little holders so that would be perfect for a bagel perfect so now we have camping we have bugs we have sunburn we're covered we're covered summer's great yep. use the hacks and enjoy <laughs> <laughs> it's the air 106 coffee break i'm marissa that's claire this is conversation you can sip on <laughs> or camp with